Hey guys, Professor Bell Comic Book University, and I'm going to explain the Shocker in about a minute. The Shocker's first appearance was in Amazing Spider-Man number 46 in March of 1967, and he was created by Stan Lee and John Romita. Born in New York City, Herman Schultz was a brilliant self-taught engineer who was forced to drop out of high school to take care of his brother Marty after their parents died. Herman became a criminal. Starting with burglary and escalating to bank robbery, Herman undertook greater risks, becoming a renowned safecracker. Eventually, he was caught and served a stint in prison. While in prison, Herman developed a pair of gauntlets that would assist him in opening safes and bank vaults faster. They could also double as a way to escape prison. Creating a full-body suit that would protect him from the energy generated from his gauntlets, Herman took the name The Shocker and graduated to the level of super criminal. His Vibra Smashers, as he called his gauntlets, channeled a tremendous air current. Activated by pumping twin switches on his gauntlets with his thumbs, the jet stream is made to vibrate at high intensity, causing rapid mini-pulses of shockwaves that can shatter stone and reinforced concrete and significantly damage the structural integrity of metal constructs. What it can do to the unprotected human body is a frightening thought. The Shocker has learned to propel himself by focusing his Vibro Smashers beneath and behind him, simulating super leaps. He's also designed a vibrational countermeasure shield that activates through motion detection, making him resistant to direct assault. The Shocker, unlike most of Spider-Man's rogues gallery, understands that he's a small-time player in a world of Hulks and Thanoses, and that guys like the Punisher can take him out at any time. Thus, he usually stays focused on robbing banks and armored cars to increase his wealth so that he can make something of himself, though he has been called on to join the Sinister Six and several other supervillain groups. While some other universe versions of the Shocker seem as more comic relief than a threat, Herman is something of a wasted genius character who just wants that one big score to retire on. And that's the Shocker in about a minute.